Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us again. This is Diaspora Live Show on Border TV. My name is Denzel Musumba. As you know very well, we always on air online on www.bordertv.co.ke. Again, that's bordertv.co.ke. And today, uh, we are privileged to be joined by one and only one. We're talking about the co-founder of Wave. This is a, uh, it's an app for sending money to Kenya, Uganda, and still growing and even expanding. Lincoln, thank Hi. you for joining us today. Thank you very much for having How me. How are you doing? Doing very well. Thanks. And by the way, we're doing this interview live from Boston. That's uh, Waltham. I think that's the name of the city. And uh, it's, uh, you know, the weather is bad, too much snow. We're here to talk about Wave, about that app that now most East Africans are just crazy about. And everybody is downloading on their iPhones, talk about iPads, Androids. I don't want to talk much, but this is the t-shirt I'm talking about. This is the bird, this is the penguin, and Mr. Lincoln <laughs> will be able to tell us more about it. So, Lincoln, I know you guys came up with this idea of Wave. Yes. With your co-founder. He did, yes. Drew Dubin. Drew, Drew was the one who was the main idea guy behind this, yes. <laughs> okay, before we get to that, Tell us a little bit about yourself, where you were sure, born. Sure, and, yes. uh, so I grew up in Massachusetts, not far from Waltham actually. I grew up in Acton um, and I studied computer science and I did programming, um, computer programming all through my youth. From where? Um, MIT? Or uh, so I, I went to Brown University okay. um, for co college, but yes, I've been doing programming since before then, uh, since I was very young actually. Mm -hmm. um, and so. I always wanted to start companies, and um, I met lots Drew. of startups. Yes, lots of startups, and I met Drew in um, when we were both in college. Okay. And um, I recognized that he would be a good person to work with, and so I've been doing startups with Drew. Okay. <laughs> and we started Wave um, about a year ago, in just January 2014. Before you guys reached to Wave. Did you try any other startups? You know, people try and fail. People you try, try and things, you're like, ah, yes. it didn't work. <laughs> try another one. Mm -mm. Let's forget about that. And you got Wave. And I think this is a breakthrough because this is a multi-billion company. You might just think <laughs> it's something small, but it has already created the impact among the East African community. By the way, I work for Wave just to you know, for, for your information. And there's so many people, especially Africans from Nigeria, Ethiopia, you know, everybody's asking, when are you starting to offer these services to my country? Yes. So the whole idea came from the two guys. That's True. Drew and yep. you. That's right. How does it work? How does it work? They say, this is an <laughs> app. You know, some people don't understand. You tell them you can send money instantly to Safaricom M-Pesa, MTN Uganda, Airtel Uganda, and in the next few days to Tigo and also Vodacom that's in Tanzania. That's right. Take us through the sure. process or maybe how you guys have developed the app, how secure is it? Yes, yes. You know, what are the features that so, so, carries um, Wave? With Wave, um, you download the app, it's on a smartphone, iOS, Android, iPhone, iPad, and um, you link your debit card, so it sends money directly from your debit card in the US to um, MTN, Safaricom, um, M-Pesa in Kenya, in Uganda, and um, it sends money instantly. So you put in your debit card, you say how much you're going to send, and okay. how, who you're sending it to, and it goes directly to their phone on, in Uganda and Kenya. So it's basically an, an app that only works with, uh, does it, you know, you know, we're talking about smartphones, we're talking about uh, iOS operating system like with the iPads and yep. uh, iPhones. Why, why did you guys put away or maybe not use uh, computers? Because most people, desktops, yes. laptops, and all that. <laughs> so um, the mobile, um, mobile apps are definitely the next thing. So we wanted to be ahead of the curve. We want to be making um, applications for the next platform that everyone has. You know, not everyone has computers, and especially in Africa, where like I think a lot of people will never get computers, but everyone will get smartphones within okay. the next five years. Um, and so, w eventually, Wave will be on smartphones, not just in the U.S., but on in Africa as well. Brilliant idea, guys. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. This is the app. Personally, I use mine, and you can see a Kenyan flag right there. Yep. And uh, yep. I'll, I'll be sending, actually, I want to send some, probably $10 to right my, now? yeah, yep. I'll, I'll send money to my M-Pesa right here. But, <laughs> and I have the number, actually, but we're moving on. Okay. We're talking about sending money. It's instant. Currently, guys can send money to that's M, M Pesa, M -Pesa in, Kenya. in Kenya and Airtel and MTN in Uganda. 
what are the limits? How much can I send? Can one send like yep. per day and per month? Right. So um, with Kenya, you can send up to a thousand dollars in a day before you raise your limits. Then there's a way to send in your identity and raise your limits and send up to three thousand dollars per day. And that works for both Kenya and Uganda. But there's also limits within the mobile money systems there, which would okay. make it so that you might be able to send like, like in person in Uganda, mm -hmm. you know, I mean in Kenya, 70,000 Kenya shillings. That's right. And you can only receive like two transactions per That's day. Right. So we're talking yeah. about 140,000. Okay, something else. There's, you know, when we Africans talk about giving information, you know, talk about maybe like your ID, you know, your driver's license, your debit card, and you're just putting on phone, you don't know is, how secure is this information? Yes. Because that's critical. That's a great question. A lot of people ask this. Um, so I was a computer security expert in college. I studied that stuff, and that's what I've been doing as my job ever since, is making secure systems that can't be broken into by hackers. So I've designed the whole WAVE system to be extremely secure, encrypt everything on the phone before it even gets to our servers. We use very strong encryption there. And then we also use techniques to prevent any kind of um, hacker is systems from accessing any of the data that we've stored on our servers. So, so we can say secure. that uh, our information is 100% safe, 100 with you guys, safe with us. and people yep. should not be worried. Once again, guys, we're speaking to one Lincoln. He's uh, the co-founder of Wave. That's uh, Send Wave. We send money with love. That's an app you download on your phone. Go to sendwave.com. That's www.sendwave.com. Download it and start sending money. And by the way, it's free. Why it's free? free? Why? Why? why <laughs> no, no, no. It's not like those other companies where you are. You're gonna be charged nine ninety nine to send money, but this is free, and it's instant. You don't have to wait for ten hours. You just send the money right now in case of an emergency, and your recipient back in Kenya, maybe your brother, your friend, you know, your family, your wife, your cousin, whoever uh, receives this money gets it direct on his M-Pesa or maybe mobile money that's back in Uganda, MTN, and Airtel, and still growing, going to Tanzania and other places. That's right. Why free? Why free? Well, we know that um, people living in the U.S. who send money home are spending so much on these other services. It costs them so much time, it costs them so much money, and like one of the goals when we created Wave yes. um, was that we wanted to make that process much, much simpler and easier and, and cheaper. Um, and what we want to do over, like our, our company goal is to make sending money anywhere in the world as easy and affordable as sending a text. That's what we want to do. Wow. <laughs> That's why I said it's a multi-billion company. So, and you just have to help us, you know, help the company grow, you trust it. Talk to a friend, tell him about it. You know, try using it because you can't just market something that you haven't used. Personally, I use it and trust me, I've saved a lot. I am and sure you can have. even send up to a dollar. You can imagine one dollar. You can go to those other companies and send a dollar because, come on, what kind of business is that? <laughs> no so that. it's yeah. free. Sendwave.com, download the app and just start sending money. Lincoln. Yes. We got an issue here about, uh, you know, other nationals asking about the service. What's the long term growth of the company? I know yeah. you, start, you guys started with Kenya. I know you have good numbers of Kenyans now sending money. You do. You know, Last month, like probably three weeks ago or a month, launched to Uganda. Today we are here because we came for a Ugandan uh, event and the numbers were good. Where next after Uganda? Where next? Well, um, Tanzania is next. Um, that should be within a few weeks. And then after that, um, we'll see. <laughs> um, so um, Ghana has mobile money. We, we go, go to the countries that have mobile money next. Okay. okay. Um, but um, one of the things that we've been thinking about is... Um, going to places that don't have mobile money yet and making it possible to cash out with agents. But um, we have to figure out how to make that work. That's a more long term. And do you study. do a study like how many uh, immigrants are here? Like, okay, yes. we have thousands and we thousands of people from Where in the Ethiopia. US people live okay. um, and try to go find people that send money a lot. And also another issue, you know, where we come from at times we don't trust our own brothers, our own sisters, family members, friends. We used to send money, okay, hey, uh, can you deposit this 200 in my bank account? Are you guys thinking of depositing money direct? I can send money from my bank account here using WAVE direct to my Kenyan bank account without the hassle, without anybody seeing, like my family member saying, okay, there's a deposit some money. 
What are you doing about that? So um, direct bank account deposit is something that we've been working on. We're still trying to work out issues with all of the banks in the receiving countries, but that's something that we that's on our roadmap, and we want to we want to make it work at some point soon. Okay, guys, you heard it. That's what I'm talking about right here on Border TV. And if you're watching this interview, trust me, you should even be downloading the app right now. It works with any Android phone. Remember, it's 4.0 and above. Android 4 and above, iOS 7 and above. 7 and above. And also, you can, you know, we're talking about your iPad. You can download it over there and uh, your Android uh, tablet. Uh, let's say, uh, just, just take us through the process of you know from signing up to the end yep what sure. should, because i know we have an issue most people say okay i can't find my email i can't verify mm -hmm. what do you guys need sure. from one person what let's say what do you need from those ones who want to use the app yep what do you guys require? so we need you to have an ios or android device with the correct operating system versions okay. android 4 ios 7 um, and then you go to sendwave.com and you download the app and then you would sign up. If There's you're a, using iOS, you can get the app from the Apple Store. Exactly. And if you're using Android, iOS, you use it from the Apple Store and with Android, you get it from the Play Store, Google Play Okay, Store. that's a Google Play. Yep. And then um, once you have the app on your phone or tablet, you sign up and um, you sign up with your email address and your phone number and you also set a password. Okay. And you give us that information, and then um, when you want to send money, you also need to link your debit card. So we'll ask you for your debit card info, we'll ask you for your address, and then um, the last step before you will send money is to um, provide identity information because of U.S. government requires us to collect. Some people send their selfies, you know, maybe I can send, <laughs> okay, you pause and take a selfie. What, is it a government issued ID? Yeah, in this we, case can we need be, an ID from most people who send, who send Okay, ID. so it can be a passport, you yep. know, a driver's, driver's license, license, or even a state ID because that's, that's right. a, yep. a government issued ID. Those are the requirements for you to sign up and start using WEV. And remember, it's free. You send money anytime. Yep. Whether it's at midnight, you're working, you don't have to drive you know waste a lot of money on gas waste a lot of time you send money instantly and it's free of charge there's something else most people ask are they charged when they receive money the recipients <laughs> back in Africa um, so the mobile money system that we send to and pesa or MTN or Airtel they have um, once the money's in they charge a little bit of money to either withdraw or um, send the money to someone else so there's small fees um, once you receive the money, but they're quite small. I personally did some research. Uh, if you send, let's say, uh, 70,000 Kenya shillings and the recipient in Kenya goes to withdraw this money, they'll be charged 330 Kenya shillings, which is about $3, yeah, so probably 32 yep. cents. And if you compare, I think you're saving a lot of money. You're saving a lot of money. You're saving a lot of money. So what are we going to do right now? First of all, I'm going to, this is my phone. I'm going to try send my own. I have my m -Peso, even though I didn't carry it here, but I'm going to try and send uh, probably $10. So uh, what I'm going to do is type my name here. Okay, yeah. I've sent before. So you can see here that's Denzil. My name is right here. I'm going to select my name and uh, I'm going to put, she likes $10. $10. No, we're just testing. Yep. Okay. That's ten dollars, and you can see how much one is going to receive. How much I'm going to receive on my M-Pesa uh, today's exchange rate is eighty-eight point six three. You should be able to see, and you can even see the comparison with the Wave competitors, and you can see how much you're saving. Uh, so if I send ten dollars, I'm gonna get eight hundred and eighty-six Kenya shillings on my M-Pesa. So what am I gonna do next? It's gonna ask you for your password. Which I have mine. You don't need to know my password. I know you're a programmer. <laughs> Definitely, maybe yeah, you know my password. I don't know so, your password. <laughs> Our systems are secure in that okay, way. Okay, I'm going to type in my password right now and then see if this transfer will go through. That's uh, my password right there. Almost done. I just put my password, so I'm going to go ahead and click OK. I can see the funds should be transferring. Yes, it says sending. Sending. Mm -hmm. Let's wait and see. Remember this Border TV and we're speaking to one Lincoln, he's the co-founder of this company alongside his friend, that's Drew, I know he's on vacation right now, but thank you Drew, whatever you are, for the good job, you <laughs> guys are making it really, really easy. Uh, oh, it's now saying moving funds, you can see that, moving funds from my bank of America going to my M-Pesa, whoa, 
this is, uh, I just got a question here. Uh, let's wait and see if these funds will be delivered. It's because also my, my internet is a bit slow based on where we are, but uh, usually it takes less than 20 seconds. At times even three seconds. Yep. I remember one time I sent money and it was like two seconds. Uh, t the funds have been delivered. And I just had my Mpesa ring in my bag, my the other bag, so <laughs> that's something else. Maybe I'll get it and show you. I just sent money right now to my Mpesa and the funds have been delivered. That's the message I can hear it on the other end. There's something here we want to talk about. Yes. What happens if I don't want, let's say, I don't want my wife to see all these transfers I've made, or my, maybe my friend. Can I erase all this information, all the transfers I've made? Yeah, so um, that's something that a lot of people have asked for. We can't, you can't delete individual transfers right now, but it's something we're adding very soon. And um, what you can do, though, to make it so people can't snoop on your transfers is just log out of the app. If you log out, there's a little okay, log so, out button, uh, okay. then people would, someone would need your password in order to see it. If you're using an iPhone like me, you can go to uh, you, the Send, Transaction, Support, and then Me. That's where you get all your information. And you can find Invite Friends. Uh, that's a personal info where you get your name and uh, your email, your phone number. And uh, we also got uh, Payment Info. That's now where you put in the debit card info for your, uh, the, the, the bank card. And then there's logout. So in this case, I'm going to log out so that nobody sees my information. Done deal. I never went anywhere to send money, but I was just sitting here in our studios and sending money. Uh, there's something here that uh, some people keep on asking about Wave. It's free. How do you guys make money? Yep. So um, we make a small margin on each exchange. So we give you an exchange rate that's a little bit lower than the interbank rate. Okay. So we make a small percentage on every transaction. And that's how you survive? Yep. We, we, that's enough to make a sustainable business and to save everyone a lot of money over Western Union and money. Grab. Beautiful. I've got this question about, you know, guys just saying, okay, can I be an agent? Can I market? You know, can I invite friends and when they sign up, can I get commissions? You know, these are questions that keep coming. Sure. Yeah. Um, so we don't have a program in place right now for that, um, but check back in a few months and we might have something. Okay. I think that sounds good. And also, uh, I don't want to forget the question that uh, was going to come. How many employees does WAVE have? Eight employees. Eight employees. Yep. So that's okay. why we're, our fees can be so low is that we've automated everything using software, so we need very few employees to actually enable people to send money. Wonderful. And I want to say thanks to all the employees of Wave. Maggie, thank you for the wonderful job once again. Elaine on support. Awesome. Drew Jobin, my compliance manager, wherever you are. <laughs> Mr. Mike, thank you so much. We got Ruthie. Ruthie, very good programmer. And that's the team that gives you this beautiful service. And all you can do now is to sign up. And what do you do next? Send money with love. Send money to your brothers and sisters. I know most people maybe can't travel, but you can still do something. Send money and you're going to save. And you know where we come from? Even $10 means a lot. It can give somebody dinner. You know, the whole family can have a meal. You know, it can take care of medical bills. So why waste money by using other companies when we have WAVE that you have on your phone, on your tablet, and you can send money anytime? This is just the beginning. Drew will be coming on Border TV too, and Lincoln might come back again to give us more information. And by the way, Tanzanians watching, when, uh, probably in how many days? Should they start sending? I don't know when, but soon. <laughs> Can't okay. promise anything. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you so much. Nice Thank talking you to you much. once again. I work for Wave, and anytime you go to download the app, this is the bird you need to look for the penguin. By the way, why did you guys choose this penguin? It's cute animal. Cute animal. Look at it. Cute animal waving. Beautiful. <laughs> Do not download any other app. You know, you might go to Google Play or maybe Apple Store and find a lot of Wave Wave. But look for the bird. For the and the easiest way, go to sendwave.com. Click the Google Play if you know you're using an Android device. Or maybe you can go to Apple Store. Just go to sendwave.com. You have any questions? The support number is right there. Emails are there. Once again, thank you so much for joining us. This is Border TV, and my name is Denzel Musumba, live from Waltham, Massachusetts. That's in, uh, you know, most people mistake Massachusetts and Boston, which is the state and which is which. We're talking about Boston is a city, but Massachusetts is actually the state. But today we're in Waltham. The weather is bad, but we're going to survive. 
have a safe journey back to new york thank you for joining us and my cameraman thank you so much once again mr tony is also a dj and you know doing a wonderful job with the ugandan community and other producers odongo thank you for joining us and thank you for the wonderful job till next time keep it locked on border tv bye bye